tonight. Uh, reports from Moscow suggesting a number of people have been killed and wounded during a shooting at a concert hall there. Videos posted online also show smoke appearing to emerge from the Crocus concert hall. Um, now, Russian news agencies say at least three people dressed in camouflage opened fire at the venue. In a statement, Moscow's mayor has said a huge tragedy has occurred. There have also been reports that the roof of the theatre building is now on fire. People are still inside that building. Uh, let's get the very latest with our Russia editor, Steve Rosenberg, in Moscow. And Steve, evening to you. Just bring us up to date on what we know about what's going on so far. Well, this is a developing story. Uh, it's still going on. This is what we know so far, that earlier this evening, uh, a number of armed men burst into a concert hall uh, in Moscow, the Crocus City Hall, just before a, a pop concert, and began shooting. Um, the hall uh, was packed with, with visitors, uh, and um, mobile phone footage shows scenes of chaos, as you can imagine. You can hear the shots ringing out. Now, there are no official figures yet as to how many people have been killed, but reports of at least 12 people uh, having been killed in this attack. Um, the building is on fire. Uh, possibly a third of the building is on fire. And we believe that uh, dozens of people may still be trapped inside the building. Also reports that uh, a number of the gunmen may have barricaded themselves inside the building. So this is still going on very much. And Russian special forces um, have been deployed to the scene. Also, 50 ambulances uh, have been called to the scene. So the casualty figures uh, could well rise. As I say, no official figure yet as to how many people uh, have been killed, but already reports suggesting that um, you know, quite a few people may have, may have uh, been killed in this, uh, in this attack. Yes, yeah, Steve, just a line coming into us here. You may be looking at the same sources that we are, but Russian rescue services saying they've evacuated 100 people from the basement uh, of that building where the shooting and explosions occurred. Uh, they say there are still people on the roof. Uh, and we're also getting a sense that there are people potentially still inside. And as you were telling us there, if those gunmen have barricaded themselves in there, um, one assumes this may turn into some sort of hostage situation. Um, as you said, very few details at the moment, but do we know that some people have been able to get out? Yeah, well, we've seen mobile phone footage of people who, who did get out, who managed to get out to safety to the car park. So people have got out from, from, uh, from the incident. Um, also reports coming in of another explosion from inside uh, the building. So we don't know what's going on there right now. But uh, obviously, this is a very serious situation. As I said, special forces have been deployed there. Uh, the FSB, Russia's domestic security service, also uh, has gone to the scene. Um, emergency services, too. So um, we'll follow the story uh, through the evening into the night. Stay with us. Just uh, one moment, Steve. Stay with us. Uh, further details coming to us uh, now. Uh, Reuters reporting more than 70 ambulances uh, at the place of that shooting. We don't know how many people they are able to help there. Um, and very few details, as you said, at this stage, because this is very much an ongoing situation. Uh, the latest line there that some people are still on the roof, perhaps hoping they may be able to get out that way. Also a line suggesting that some people, uh, up to 100 people, were evacuated using the underground uh, system in the basement of that building. Um, and Steve, give me a sense, if you will, of, of what the security services will be doing right now and what they may know um, about what is happening and what help they may be able to offer. I would imagine it's quite a chaotic situation, right? Uh, this came completely out of the blue. Um, I mean, interesting how uh, a number of armed men were able to get into uh, what is quite a prominent concert hall uh, in Moscow, the Crocus City Hall. You would imagine that there would be um, tight security uh, there, especially at, at this time. Uh, but obviously, um, these five men were able, if they were five, were able to, to get inside. We don't know who they are. Uh, we've just seen reports that men in camouflage, armed men in camouflage, uh, went into the concert hall and began shooting. So, um, uh, as I say, we don't know who they are, and perhaps uh, more information will come out uh, through the evening about uh, who the attackers actually are, and also about the casualty figures. Because, as I say, no official figures now. Lots of numbers 
um, appearing on social media, which we cannot confirm. Um, but as I say, the fact that 50 ambulances have been called to the scene, that suggests that the authorities fear that um, the casualty toll could be quite high.